Okay, so I said I was going to make another video going way more in detail about how I felt about the All-Star race on Saturday night, and let's talk about it. I'll tell you right now, I have no notes in front of me. I have nothing in front of me. I am literally just speaking off the top of my head because that's how I feel that I should talk about it, just so you guys get the raw reaction of what I truly think about this kind of racing. And let me just start with a couple of things that I think we can all agree on. And we can all agree on this type of racing that gave us these kind of finishes, like the ones with Gordon and Jimmy Johnson in 2011 at Atlanta where they're sliding all around the place and they're just trying their best not to spin out but yet still try to pass each other. Or 2004 with Kenseth and Newman trying to pass each other at Charlotte where they don't really have to deal with a lot of aerodynamics and they're just going in and out. No coil binding either, so the cars are just hopping into the corners and just having this really nice free flow. Or 2003 Darlington where Ricky Craven and Kurt Busch, Kurt Busch got no power steering and these guys are just sliding all over the place trying to pass each other, which is probably the best finish of NASCAR history. Or short track racing, where you've seen the great finishes of Bristol and Martinsville. By the way, if we just wanted to fix all of this, more short tracks. <laughs> it's, just, it's really easy. But we can't make the entire schedule short track. So how do we solve the, the 1.5 mile, 2 mile thing? And what we saw Saturday night, is that an answer? Just hear me out before you comment down below. Just listen to what I have to say. Then you guys can leave all your opinions. And I feel like, obviously, there's, there's going to be a big discussion. I think this package at the all-star race, it created, it created something I didn't think it would. It actually created a divide. It created a divide in the fans because I think we can all agree that it was a really good race. I th I enjoyed it, I, but there, there are some people that didn't like it. I can understand. I, I think the people that you just didn't like the race, you didn't think it was a good race. I, I hate to say that I think you're in the minority because what I've seen is a lot of people like the all-star race from Saturday night. That's what I've seen. Where the divide comes in, is how we got to that kind of racing. So what created the closer, better racing? And what, what do you d determine as better? Because in every motorsport, better means something different. So in IndyCar, you're wide open and you're passing. That's better for them. In Formula One, you want overtakes, but you also want the technical prowess of these teams to, to be shown. That's better for them. So in NASCAR, what's better for you? Because that has to be answered. In NASCAR, there's two distinct directions I now see. Th this is what I see in NASCAR. There's two directions they can go. And the Gen 7 car is by far the most important car that NASCAR will ever have to make. And they're working on it right now. And I think the direction they want to go in is going to be heavily skew skewed by the reaction they get from last night. So two directions. We have what we used to have, which is you want more off-throttle time. You want mechanical grip. You want the, the way that can create a dull race. It can. If you had a fast car, they'd pull out to a four-second lead like we've seen Kevin Harvick do. I'm not saying the old package is that kind of package. We've gone farther and farther away from this package. This package that had mechanical grip, that was able to fight through dirty air a little bit and created these great finishes in the early late to or early mid 2000s. We don't really have that anymore. What we have now in 2016, 2017, 2018 is a package that is just horrible. It's it's awful. But this is one direction you can go in. It's off throttle. It's typically what NASCAR has always been. It's it's mechanical grip sliding around. You're trying your best with throttle control while still trying to get that past that car in front of you and hope that dirty air doesn't mess you up too much. That's that's one side. The other side that's being explored last night is a wide open racing. And this is the one I can't agree with and th this is just my opinion. I can't I can't be on this side. It's there's no way for me to even remotely think I can watch NASCAR if we got wide open racing. So two sides. One, mechanical grip sliding around. The other, full throttle open racing, but you get pack racing, you get closer racing. The leader can't get can't get away, so you won't have the top 10 spread out by 30 seconds. It won't happen. You're going to have them much closer together, and that's what this is. Wide open racing. And this is just my message kind of to NASCAR, but also to let you guys hop in because I'm just one opinion, and you guys can hop in as well and make your opinion. I just can't see plates being the answer. I can't. There's no way in my mind I will ever accept restrictor plates being the answer to create better racing, whatever you want to determine as better. Because the sense I'm getting from a, a lot of the recent videos I've made is that people don't like the gimmicks, and I've, I noticed that. I don't like the gimmicks either. I, I don't like the points format. I don't like how artificial we've kind of created the sport to be with all this really weird gimmicks and point system and all that, but that's format. That has nothing to do with actual racing. When we get to the racing, and now we're talking about making it 
wide open racing because that's what we saw it was completely wide open that's a gimmick in itself because restrictor plates were actually never made for better for racing purposes they weren't they were made for safety reasons back in the day they were made so we could slow these cars down that were going 220 miles per hour at daytona and talladega that's why it was made and then pack racing was created and then you know since then we've worked on the pack racing at daytona and talladega and try to improve it year in and year out and that's its own type and form of racing that you get four times a year and i would say a lot of people enjoy plate racing i would definitely say a lot of people enjoy it at daytona and talladega i do i certainly enjoy it now when you take that that, and you take it to the intermediate tracks we're we're getting into a line that's very iffy we don't even know what the line is defined anymore because fans have their own opinions and i think drivers do as well listen for me i've always thought that nascar is at its best when you can take two drivers it doesn't have to be a pack but you just have a close race between two drivers or the the field and you're able to use throttle control and you're able to slide around and you're able to use tire wear to your advantage, save your tires when you want to, and pass people that way. That creates comers and goers. It's very similar to what we saw at Bristol, kind of, but Bristol's a short track, so I can't tell you. I can't, in the recent years, I can't pull up an example that I would, I would say, because the Gen 6 car is so, unfortunately, terrible, and I'll get into that. But comers and goers, mechanical grip, that's really what I've always gotten the sense that most NASCAR fans want. The issue is we haven't been able to get it. So the Gen 6 car creates something different where you can't really race side by side and it creates a single file train. And you're also trying to create this low downforce package, but downforce really has nothing to do with it because downforce won't affect the dirty air. It won't affect the side force. So the answers when you got the low downforce package a couple of years ago never really changed anything and we just progressively gotten worse with this car. So we have to figure out that direction. We have to figure out where's a sport do the fans and the teams and the, the sanctioning body of NASCAR want to go? Do you want wide open racing or do you want what you used to have, which is mechanical grip and try to get back to this area? Cause we're not here yet with well, that gen six isn't there, but we, we can get back to this area or just go in a different direction and say, listen, wide open racing is what NASCAR is now. And it's, I listen, I, I can't, I'm sorry, I, I can't do it, but if you want if you want to go wide open, I com I will completely respect your opinion, and if NASCAR decide to go wide open, I completely respect that. If you want to do that kind of racing, combine your short tracks in there, obviously you're not going to be running restrictor plates at short tracks, but you get more short tracks on the schedule, and then anything 1.5 or above, you put a plate on there, and you make it pack racing. If you want that, listen, ah, go ahead. So I'm going to leave that to you. You guys know where I stand. I want mechanical grip. And if we go in this direction, I'm out. I'm done. I can't watch anymore. That's just how I stand on it. So now let's get to something that's very, very important, which is what we saw last night is going to determine what we see three, four years from now in Gen 7. So I don't think there's any secret that Gen 7 is being developed and they're working on a brand new car. Now this, this by far is the most important uh, aspect of the sport right now is this car this gen 7 car this will make or break the sport definitely the gen 6 was made to be a fast car it looks cool like it, look, it looks like a cool car it's very low to the ground however it's very very aerodynamically dependent it requires so much aero dependency that it ruins the racing the idea with the gen 6 was to never get away from mechanical grip we didn't want to get away from that what we had was great when we had to make a bunch of safety renovations and make the car bigger and fatter and the cot came along and then we tried making the cars look more like the manufacturers. That's where we lost this mechanic. That's where we lost the racing, okay? So now we got a terrible package. Everyone can agree on it. Gen 6, terrible package. How do we make it better? Well, what we saw from Saturday night, which is Aerodux, Spoiler, Splitter, Plates. That, that's one package, okay? So that's one package where you have more wide open racing. However, the Aerodux the, and the Spoiler, you can take from that package, right? And implement it into something that NASCAR might be developing for Gen 7. And this is where I'm getting my, my point across with Gen 7. So the body design of Gen 6 is why you can't really get good racing with it. The, it's the, it's the, the underbody, it's everything around the car that you can't change with a spoiler or with an aero duct. You, you won't be able to do it. There's too much in that car that was designed for one way. So when you want to create a different kind of racing, you won't really be able to do it with Gen 6. It, it won't come off right. With Gen 7, you can change the way the body is. You can actually affect side force because that package we saw Saturday night does nothing to side force. You still notice that side drafting is very, very big. It's a huge deal. Uh, just to be able to pass cars because once that leader gets away and then you start side drafting those two cars stall and you know You just go on your way 
And to pass cars, you really have to side draft a lot. And that's why you saw people go to the outside lane. That way you could just side draft the car on the inside, very much like you see at Daytona and Talladega. So the Gen 7 can, can work on side drafting and side force. I think it's very obvious, and I, I'm pretty sure the R&D guys in NASCAR know that, they, that side force is not something you want, and you want to get it out of the car. You can only do that with Gen 7, and they're working on that. So if you did that, and let's just say hypothetically we got side force out of the car and we were able to limit dirty air a little bit more, what kind of racing would you want? Would you want wide open racing or would you want mechanical grip-esque racing? I'm still always going to be down the line of wanting NASCAR to be about mechanical grip, throttle control, and just passing and good racing. If the fastest car pulls out to a four second lead, well damn, they deserve it. This is the misconception I'm getting is people are like, okay, Harvick's dominating, right? So we want to pull Harvick back. Why do you want to disadvantage the leader? I'm just saying if there's a dominant car, then fine, let there be a dominant car. But if through the rest of the pack, we have good racing and it's not artificially created, it's not wide open, but yet drivers are still able, still able to give their input on it. And you close the field up a little bit, but you're able to see that, hey, I can get a car loose. I don't, I can run side by side really hard. You're going to get good racing. It might, it's not going to be every week. Listen, it's not going to be that every race is great, okay? It's not going to happen. Because you're always going to have a car that's really, really good, that's the leader, and they deserve to win. You can't just be like, hey, I, I don't want the leader pulling away to a five-second lead. Get, get back here with a restrictor plate. We're going to make sure you can't do that. That's that's artificial. It's gimmicky. It's That's not natural. You can't... It's not... It's like just... If you thought about ethics of racing, like you, you don't do that. At the same time, you don't want the leader to lap everyone, and like there's only five cars on the lead lap, and they're all spread out by 30 seconds. It's very fine line. Anyway, I feel like I'm jumping all over the place because I haven't. I'm just talking off the top of my head. But basically, what I'm trying to say is NASCAR. The reason why fans are leaving is because they don't like the changes. That that's what's been going on. So to go in a completely opposite direction to try to achieve the or to get those fans back is not the way to go. If you can go in a complete opposite direction and still achieve the same racing, like mechanical grip and stuff, I get it. There was a really good point that Dale Jr. keeps bringing up, and Dale Jr. has been an advocate for making the engine smaller to lower the top speed, but have that engine have more torque and more acceleration. I'm completely, 100% agree with him, but the thing is, you can't force a new engine upon teams because he knows this. It's too expensive. We can't do it now. You'd have to do it with the introduction of Gen 7, uh, because you, you can't do it now, you can't test it in an all-star race. So I'd love to see the, the NASCAR go for a smaller engine that lowers top speed down the straights, but not in the corners, so you're still decreasing the speed in the corners, still making the car slide around, so that way we can still have that mechanical kind of grip racing. And then you have to, there's so much more to it because you have to master the aero part and, and do it there. I just, I can't see plate racing. If we go the direction of plate racing, that smaller engine, that mechanical grip, that's all gone. That's all gone. And now you're asking for a completely different style of racing. And I'm talking about the future. I'm not talking about what do we see in 2019. I, I really don't care. I'm talking about Gen 7. I'm talking about what do we want NASCAR to be 10 years from now. And that's a very, very, very big question that fans and NASCAR and teams and drivers need to answer. Do you want wide open racing or do you want mechanical grip? Because you can't get both. It's, it won't happen. So I know I jumped all over the place, uh, and I think that's kind of the gist I wanted to get at. I think I got everything I wanted to get across, you know? I want you guys to comment down below. I've let my feelings known very, very well. I, I can't take plate racing, and I, I if you guys wanna, want plate racing, then I might have to get used to it, or I might have to just leave. I mean, I because I can't see myself watching plate racing week in, week out. So... It's, I don't know, it's definitely a interesting decision. Comment down below, what do you think? I'm leaving it, I'm just gonna let the comment section be galore and you, you do what you wanna do and uh, fans, you decide. So that's just my opinion. Guys, if you like the video, make sure to like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. There's a lot to digest and a lot to think about from the All-Star Race Saturday night and what direction the sport decides to go. So yeah, I'm very scared, honestly. I'm very, very scared. I am hoping for one direction to be taken, and I just hope they get it right, and I hope drivers and teams and the and NASCAR can find that solution and understand kind of what NASCAR is, and hopefully they don't take it one way. I, I, I mean, it, maybe if fans want to go that way, then fine, but hopefully they don't. So I'll see you guys later. Hope you're having a great day, and peace out. Even if I try, even if I wanted to, and I can't change.
Even if I try, my love, my love, my love, she keeps me warm. 